And now we are gonna be playing this bed we made. Which is, um, we are made to kind of snoops around and be friends people, so we find out about stuff. Sophie's colleagues, Beth and Andrew. Beth is a worldly woman who brings a keen sense of street smarts to her job at the job. Clarington. It's no surprise that her beauty and boldness attract the eyes of people of all genders and gaze her and gaze she was willing to return only for the right person. I'm well synced with you. Nice. FG had a game with basic graphics yesterday that used ninety percent her high end GPU until she turned on frame rate limit. Yeah, from the from the game, but there was no options for that, so I don't know what was with that. Andrew, in insightful, well-read, and down-to-earth. Andrew is a worthwhile friend to a few who manage to catch his interest. He might spend most of his time buried in a book, but for the right person, he's more than a fool that are willing to share the fruits of his knowledge. Actually, I could open task manager. This game is using a lot of stuff. Yeah, she had to go into NVIDIA control panel to the FPS there. The game didn't have limit. Let me see. Where was it again? Ah, uh, bright light. Program settings? No. Do you remember where it was? I'm finding this game in the list. It's great. Well, but it seems to be working now, isn't it? It's fine now. So if it starts doing that more again, then we will pass it out. Hello, game. Whoa. Oh, you're pretty. E. Lost and found. I felt bad bugging Beth while she was in the middle of an important phone call, but like always, she came through. The logbook says Mr. Spade's in room 5051 was just in the middle of taking care of the fifth floor before my break. I can return the film roll I can return the film roll and get right back to my schedule. By cleaning up the mess in the lobby, I found a roll of film on the ground. I'm guessing whoever knocked over the vase must have dropped it. With Beth's help, maybe I can figure out who it belongs to and return to it their room. We usually keep lost items at the front desk, but bringing it back myself would only take a few minutes out of my day, but that may, but might put me a few steps lower to employment month. Okay. I assume, are we Beth? No, Beth is the receptionist. Beth has been the hotel's receptionist for as long as I can remember. In fact, she was the first Hers was the first face that welcomed me when I took my first step inside the Clarington. She knows this place like the back of her hand. Beth can be fiery, but or fury, fiery, which doesn't win her much of love from Bernard. But most guests adore her for her magnetic personality, and that's something. Bernard can plainly see. Something Bernard can plainly see. We don't get the chat chance to chat as, of as often as I would like, but we when we do, it's always a plus. I wish. I only wish I had even half of her wit so I could entertain her as much as she entertains me. Bernard. Bernard is the claim to his manager and the big boss. He spends most of his days locked in his office and doesn't like the maids roaming around outside of, outside of their post, so our paths don't cross often. Likely, he's been hell-bent on getting the hotel back in shape, whatever that means, and 
there have been a lot of ch changes around here as a result. He's enforcing employee rules more strictly than ever and dropping God knows how much money on renovations. The stress is directly radiating off of, off, off him. Off, off. Linda. Linda is Clinton's governor's burnout second in command. It's easy to see why. She rules over the maids with an iron fist, always ready to enforce burnout like this rule, rules to, to the letter. Most of them hate her for this, but my feelings are a bit more mix mixed. For whatever reason, she seems to have a soft spot for me. The same cannot be said for Wendy. Aunt Wendy, it's like she made it for <laughs> she she's made it her life's mission to break up Wendy and Chakut's Chakut's relationship. And I'm worried that her latest efforts may have succeeded. My pinky is starting to hurt now. The one that I left between the table and the chair. I'm sure it's fine. Probably haven't a bruise on it. Wendy. Wendy is a waitress at the hotel's restaurant. She and her best friend Yvette were hard together and they used to be inseparable until three or four months ago. It's no coincidence that this was around the time when they started dating Jacques, the bellboy. Jacques? Jacques? The bellboy whom she's now happily engaged. That is, depending on who you ask. Linda seems to think that Wendy is the kindest resident flirt. Sure, she's popular with guests and collects the most tips by far, but I have always chopped that up the, up the same thing that have drawn me to her. The warm smile that just radiates kindness. Linda does not convince, though, then seems to have taken upon herself to expose Wendy for who she really is to Jack Jackwitz. Jacks? Jackwitz? Jacks? Jacks? I don't know how to pronounce that. Right? Jealous much? Seems to be fine now. Just checking the thing. Check where it's checks. Chakwes. Chakwes is one of the Chakwes bellboys. I don't know much about him. He's even more shy than I am, barely looking up at guests when carrying their luggage. Check it. Check it what? Chakwes. Check it. <laughs> People like us need someone to bring us out of our shells. Check it, North Coast. Yuli, what are you talking about? Record scratch sounds. Okay. People like us just need someone to bring us out of our shells, and apparently, for Jagus, the person is Wendy. He's like a completely different person around her. He lights up, la laughs, even cracks jokes. I was so happy that he found Wendy and even happier when he proposed. They are like claiming his very own Janet and Tony. But it seems the engagement, engagement is in peril thanks to Linda's meddling. Stand strong, stand strong, Jacques. Don't fall for her manipulations. Andrew. Andrew is the con concierge. Concierge? Concierge. 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 And receptionist for the Farrington. He's intelligent, professional, kind, and well mannered, which easily makes him Bernard's favorite, but he knows how to have fun when no one's looking. Concierge. Thank you. Whenever I see him, he's either dashing off on his latest errand or burying himself in a book, so we haven't had a lot of chance to socialize at length. When we do, though, it always feels easy. Like talking to someone perfectly attuned to your wavelength. Maybe I should ask him for some book recommendations. It would be nice to have more reason to talk with him. Eugene! Eugene is in charge of hotel's maintenance. Pretty much everyone likes him. He's friendly, hardworking, and does his job well. Anytime I have needed help, he's been happy to lend a hand. Since the renovation started, though, his usual good mood has lost some of its spark. I can see that Burns' lofty expectations are waiting on him, wait, weighing on him. I just hope he doesn't burn out. He doesn't deserve that. Mr. Spade. <gasps> Dark figure. Hey, Rain Forester. How you doing? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade is a guest here at the hotel. He's staying in room 505. He seems to carry films around and he was in such a rush to get somewhere today uh, that he could not go over a ways in the lobby. Other than that, I don't know much about him. I can't deny I'm curious to know more. 
Please progress. Hey. Optimum 505. I'm sure Mr. Spade will be happy to get his film roll back. Where's Sophie? Inspect. This must have been so much fun. Well, for the guests at least. You are invited to Clinter's annual Valentine's Ball, Friday, February 14, 7 to 10 p.m. From our wear requires entry includes one drink, door prizes, and best dresses. Best dressed. Best dressed contest? In the selection mode. Oh. No, no, I want to go back. Oh, you can even enhance even more. I haven't danced since Grandma's 70th. <laughs> she definitely upstaged me. She's kind of cute. Look at plain text. <gasps> if you can't... It, if you can't read that well of the stuff, you can also talk a plain text. Oh, that's so nice! Also, I feel like there's barely any music now. I feel like I shouldn't be touching any of the options because it seemed to break everything earlier. Plain text. Oh my god, that is a lot. Okay, hold on to your butt, chat. The Montrealer, 31 pages, Montreal, Monday, February 17, 1958, 10 cents. 19 arrested in Deviate Raid. Montreal police arrested 19 persons in early Saturday raid at Manias Launch, located in Stanley Street, downtown Montreal. The establishment, owned by Emmanuel Lapierre. Lapierre. La Liberte? La Liberte? La Liberte? La Liberte? Is a no hang hangout for six deviates. That's great. A Montreal City employee, a court official, and two teachers were among the seized, according to official reports. Lieutenant Sylvain Gilbiold Gilbi says he said he plans to send letters to school employing the arrested teachers. It's so great that we have picked the game again with strange names I can't pronounce, so I'm going to butcher them all. He plans to send them to school employing the arrested teachers. School principals, parents and fellow teachers should prevent such people from being in close contact with youngsters, he said. It is everyone's responsibility to protect our children. Lutheran and Gilbiol, Gilbiol, Gilbiold, Gilbiold also promised that the investigation would be open to... Liberta, who already has criminal record to his name. According to page 3, major snowstorm paralyzes city. Montreal is paralyzed by his this winter's fifth and most important snowstorm. 15 inches of snow are expected until the end of the day. The last ma major storm back in this January had covered, covered the city with 15, 12 inches of snow. And hello again, Bidjo. I think Bidjo was here earlier, wasn't she? How are you doing? I hope you're well. <clears throat> well, winds create giant snow banks all over the city. Wait, no. I skipped accident. One of the is here. She got some new biscuits to try and they don't have eggs in them, so they're safe for her. Nice! I hope she enjoys them. The storm started yesterday, with six inches falling during the day, six more during the night. Well, winds create giant snow banks all over the city. Many drivers ignored police warnings and decided to take their cars at their own risk, resulting in several accidents. Trains from the United States are expected to delay up, up to three hours at Dorval Airport. Most departures have been cancelled, while arrivals are delayed or diverted altogether. Continent page 5. Shop owners against new mental hospital. A group of downtown Montreal businessmen, the shop owners met the, with the mayor sort of mayor sort of one year last week to air their to air their grievance concerning the city's recent decision to allow construction of new mental hospital at Dorchester Boulevard. William Weston, manager of Weston's department store, says he and his group will fight tooth and nail to prevent the hospital's construction. Will our customers feel safe to come downtown? For the shopping needs to know there are lunatics next door, he said. Six inches of snow. Did, did the man say that or was it confronted by a woman? <laughs> Materialists, because we know men tend to extract inches. I don't even know inches. Like, it, anyone saying inches, I, I'm like, okay. That tells me nothing. 
Quentin, page eight, out of the bloody Valentine. Ooh, yeah, bloody Valentine. One of those day conquered in horror last Friday with the murder of an Ultramont resident, a worried neighbor called authorities at 11.15 p.m. after hearing loud shouts from the next door. When police arrived, they found the lifeless body of 34-year-old man. Authorities have refused to identify the victim, provide any detail about the circumstances of his death. No suspect has been apprehended, but Executive Legend Morris Tremblay asks anyone with information to come forward as soon as possible. Continue to page 14. I feel like... Oh, we can't read... We can read more! One feet 30. One yard 90. I'm not gonna remember that. One inch... Two... Forty... Fifty four. I'm not gonna remember that, so it's not so you know I'm not gonna remember that. Does your personal hygiene worry you? Are those worries bothering your husband? Stop worrying and save your marriage with lice oil. Lice oil? Lice oil is an indispensable aid to marriage hygiene. Millions of women use it regularly to safeguard the beauty and avoid undesirable surprises. It's penetrative and effective even in the presence of organic matter. Begin to use lice oil today so you can stop worrying about your hygiene and focus more even on things such as pleasing your hardworking husband. Lice oil has been endorsed more for more than sixty years by scientists, medical professionals, and many other and many other men who have open hygiene at heart. A lice oil corporation production. Who did burn on lice oil? <laughs> That's neat. Oh, I forgot to do the selection mode. I'm not sure how the children are affected by what goes on at a bar on a Friday night. But I'm no lieutenant, so. I like to see comments and stuff. My new home, according to Suzanne and Yvette. Very cute. Wouldn't be surprised if everyone's a little bit more on edge today. Bad weather has a way of doing that. Is the voice being quiet, by the way? This is horrible. I don't think I'll ever understand what pushes people to go so far as killing. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, she doesn't want to talk about that. Could be a bit louder. Here we go. She's really cute. Can we run? She walks the way of like, like she really needs to pee, or she's trying to walk really fast away from a murderer without being like suspicious. Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. Protect the family. Say no to divorce. You can divorce. You can be divorced against your will. Women children suffer most in divorce. You lose your su success and rights in divorce. Your wife's pension rights are lost in divorce. You lose your right to the family home in divorce. You should buy the DOC Divorce Oversight Committee. Why not both? Walking away from murder adults too. <laughs> She's trying to keep books on top of her head. That's true. And that's where we're going. I'm not going there yet. Let me snoop. I'm gonna snoop. miss something in here I should move on for now but maybe I can come back later if I have a spare moment <laughs> in please let me snoop does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids first rule to think so be invisible Hold on. first rule be invisible the Chambermaid's Guide. First rule, be invisible. Guests do not want to be disturbed. Accomplish your work as silently and discreetly as possible. Be a shadow. Second rule, be through. Leave no stone unturned and no current unclean. Dust stains, everything must disappear. Be careful. Third rule, be careful. Sometimes what looks like trash is actually guest treasure possession. Be careful as to what you throw away. Virtual cleaning, bathroom, clean mirror, toilet and bath. Being used sheets, card. Put clean towels on the shelf. Replace toilet paper roll if necessary. 
Empty garbage can, throw away trash, room, clean as if necessary. Scrub stains, make bed, empty garbage can, throw away trash. Complete cleaning, bathroom, room. Repeat partial cleaning duties, vacuum every floor, dust every surface, change bed sheets. What? What? Why does it say bathroom bring used sheets to cart? Does it mean towels? Is this voice a Chris from Timbleweed Park? I don't know. I don't know who is the voice actors for this. No, your governess may ask you to perform other related duties at any moment. This is election mode. Being invisible has always come easy to me. Maybe too easy. Everything must disappear. <laughs> Makes us sound like magicians. Telling apart the treasure from the trash can be tricky sometimes. Nothing else? Connecting okay. hotel housekeeping housekeeper name Sophie Roy. Okay, so that's our name. 505 partial, 506 complete, ex expect a big mess, 507x, does it mean like we don't have to do it? It sounds a bit like Dolores and Timbleweed Park, but I don't think it's her. What's this game called? This game is called The Bed We Made. It said partial for 505, right? Yes, it is. Ooh, what's that? It's a yo-yo! It's got a penguin on it! Sugar frosted pops! Can, can we take it? Which is just being twitching. Yo-yo! Oh my god, it makes noise! <laughs> Do not disturb. Well, that's one less room to clean today. Oh, it does have the... You have a room order for a reason, Sophie. <laughs> I, like, I like that she keeps on commenting stuff. What? Why am I doing this? It's the best when the NPCs just go like... Stick to your room order, Sophie. No, nope, NPC, I'm, I'm your... Ahead of myself. I'll come back the to this one later. characters, like, in the game just go like, Why am I doing this? It makes no sense. Hmm... I... I have all the supplies I need. Look at the snow! Wow! Can't wait for getting snow. But yeah, this game is coming out like next month. Early next month. Blocking the stairs seems dangerous. What if the elevator breaks down again? Yeah, can we like move this stuff? Pick up? It looks like plaster for the renovations. Better not play with it. No, I'm DM3. Maybe not yet. Skip snow. There's a car. She is walking really silently though. I mean you can hear her footstep, but she's like walking the way you would be quiet. We're going in. Is there anything else? Place cop? Another day, another dirty dish to pick up. To the bathroom shelf, my friends. Oh. Um. Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade?
This is fine. Temporary with options may lead to positive or negative consequences. He's been taking pictures of us! Who makes dark room inside the toilet room? A murderer? This? Maybe he just has a huge crush on us. What did Platy do? Oh, did he like... Oh no, Jav, they might have been doing a naughty. I think we did the naughty. We used the... We used the worker, or workers, what the hell, customers spray. Did the thing. Not did the thing. Uh, we didn't know. We didn't use a spray. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We did nothing. I just throw everything. Inspect. Mr. Spade. What's up, you ask and you shall receive? Now I know Mr. Spade is in stalker. He's been stalking none of other than me. I still can't believe those pictures of me in his bathroom are real. Hey. Stalker pictures. Picture of me snipping through guest suitcase. Where is tools and products used to develop pictures? Should I keep? Should I call reception? Maybe they'll be able to help me make sense of all of this. Let me just clean those quick. <laughs> quick! No evidence! No evidence, Chaz! Quickly clean everything! Done. <laughs> so do I say get clean crime scene looks like it? Throw away? Why would I throw them away? Oh my god, why is that so dirty? <laughs> oh the noises! <laughs> Nailed it. I should pick up back to my cart. Um. I don't. Why the smile at the sensible price? Which? Why should I throw away his gloves? I'm a little confused. Specs. Looks like prescription drugs. But what are they for exactly? The drawing a partner plus thing. Oh, nice. They have added noises for this. I can actually hear. This makes me so happy. Malton, member brain, 400 milligrams, cautioner, federal law. Profits dispensing without prescription. Modern laboratories, renal envy. Milton bottle. Milton bottle, biscuit drug bottle, half full. That is real. Oh my god. It's 
expect. Oh my god, even this one makes noise! I love it! I'm sorry, but this makes me very happy. Keep bottle tightly closed. Instant. Bottle graphic fine grain developer B. To use mix with equal quantity of instant fine grain developer A. New York. <laughs> how, how to entertain Goo. Just give her a bottle of something so I can shake it up. Reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Hi, CGP. How you doing? Click an op dialogue option to select it. Beth, I need your help. I need Andrea's help. Beth, I need your help. Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it! You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? He caught me snooping. I found a dark room. He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. Sophie's kids. She, she is! a kind of... dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um... I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... Sometimes, when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No! That's a terrible idea. But... Sophie, that man has pictures Sophie of you no running idea. your hands through people's stuff. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but say a client reports something missing, those pictures would put a big red target on your back. Hmm. What if Mr. Spade is dangerous? I threw the pictures out. I threw the pictures out. Well, I threw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but you found the pictures drying over the bath, right? Yeah. I'm no photographer, but I've been in one of those dark rooms before. You have? Yeah. I modeled for a while. Anyway. Oh my bad. What I'm getting at is those pictures were developed recently, but it doesn't mean there aren't more elsewhere. You want me to snoop? <laughs> there is a safe here. I guess I could keep looking. There's a safe here. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Do you have the safe combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. Mm, give me a minute. Merde. Those idiots. What? I can't find the combination list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. What phone cord could do some don't work? Yep. So it's good that we actually read about the characters before we entered. Because that's why I know that Beth was actually our friend. Okay. Well, if maybe. Reception gave him a code. Maybe he wrote it down somewhere. Okay. Progress. Dark room. I know that reading this back in my own writing is going to feel completely unreal, but here goes. Room 505 greeted me with a sight I never could have seen coming. A makeshift dark room filled with pictures of me snooping through a quest item. My heart has never beat so quickly. But yeah, this game is coming out next month, I think it was. And to be honest, 
We haven't played that so long yet. If I didn't write everything down. I guess we have that in common. We haven't played that so long yet, but so far I'm really enjoying it already. And I really want to play it. The only problem was that there were some issues with that it made my camera not work. Do not forget to buy more film. Throw away. Where's the key is here? Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room? Or did this just fall down? Hmm. Can we close the door? have you taken mr spade can we just inspect it like you know pull out the film to see like if there's pictures for us <laughs> it makes noise okay it's gonna ruin the film i don't care it's his problem i'm i'm throwing it away he's been taking pictures of me very rude. No combination, no entry. Just look like not used so no photos there. I don't know, I threw them away no anyway. One will give you a job or a place to live. Not take pictures of people, I guess. Without their consent. Dear Mr. Morgan, I understand your situation. Mr. Morgan, is that Arthur? <laughs> I understand your situation, and I'm sorry that you had to spend so many years in the hospital. However, this does not change the fact that you don't have cultivation for the job. And even if you did, I could not hire someone in your situation. Other staff members simply would not feel safe around you. I would not ask you to co contact me anymore. Sincerely, Jeremy Sandberg. Hey weirdo, stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you, ever. Mr. Morgan? True, the film doesn't stick out when it's used. Oh. Mr. Morgan, you know I have a lot of respect for you, what, for what you, what you and your others have done for this country, but I'm not the charity. If I don't receive the past three months' rent before the end of the week, you will have to vacate the apartment. Thank you. Mr. Morgan! Wee! I like the physics in this game. I'm sure either way. Felix shaving cream. A closer shave at a sensible price. I'm sure either way too. I throw everything away. I don't care who this guy is. That isn't the safe way to handle a razor play. I'm sure it is. Villains, French, English, English, French, dictionary. Spelling based on dictionary, Dick, Samus, French, 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 and on the Oxford English dictionary. Okay. Sir, this is not France. You can't just take pictures of the people. Oh, there was still something? Pawning off your possessions? What do you need the money for? There is pawn shop. Description articles pawned one World War II Victory Medal, bronze, amount of loan, fifteen dollars. 
date of pawning, date of expiry, name and address, Paul Morgan, character in hotel, 1178, Drummond Street, Montreal. Clues. Film reminder, do not forget to the film, rejection letters. I don't think I will throw that away. Pick up. Inspect. Oh. Move cursor, move blanket. Ice pillow. One more pillow, then you're good. Whoa! Camera! I'm skating there just a few weeks ago. Why is there a heart in the corner? Okay, there's a number. No. Remember, chat, where two eight? I assume that's an eight. Or is it nine? Two eight. Five two? Two five. Two, or is that nine? Two, nine, five, two, 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 D, or five. Probably so we, we can't tell that that's our ticket. Yes, so. Oh. She's not. Hello? No comp saying anything. Um or did she already say the thing? She's not saying anything now. She or I don't know, those look like music notes. Could also be those. Plain text didn't help. Can like X marks the spot, but there's no way this is just a treasure hunt. Yeah, it else is. Mm. X marks the spot, but there's. She's not no saying way anything. This is just a treasure hunt. She's supposed to say when I can click on this, when it shows the magnifying glass. Hmm. Special occasion, wedding, funeral? I just visited the oratory for the first time in years. This has to be a coincidence, right? Yeah, but she's not commenting on the other paper where we where there's numbers or something, Cass. Uh, that's the problem. She seems to be re reacting to everything else except that. The Mom's previous paper. to go again, but with all those steps, it would be tough on her. So he's our little stalker for some reason. No worries, Cass. Much of tramways for nineteen fifty eight. Okay. This was the sale where I found that winter jacket that mom loves. Were you there too? I could never have gotten that coat at normal prices. 
Red might not be Mom's favorite, but at least it's not blue. Why Harry's? Not a burger place close to the hotel. He's just looking at your postcard and you're like, probably could send the one with the C word on it. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh, I could. <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> Harry's diner, too. Were we ever there at the same time? Two cokes and two burgers, one extra fries. Did he? It sounds like a meal for two people, though. Yeah, she's not commenting on this either. Hi. Four. It's weird. T thirty. T Okay. Should we just throw this all away as well? <laughs> throw it away. Don't know who you are. But you seem to be following me, so I'm throwing all the stuff away. This is clearly trash. <laughs> Stalking proof. Flyers, shapes, and tickets that seem to indicate being followed outside of work. Progress. Yarn map. The map on his wall just makes everything weirder. Every thread points to a place I have visited lately. But what does that mean? Is this search of white coincidence or am I just really being stalled? If I am, why me all of people? Okay, Sophie, just stay calm. There has to be a rational explanation there. I just need to find it. Uh, request to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? You super need to nap, but you kind of want to know if the creepers are dad or something. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> I don't know if we will find out. Ooh. Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? Lindsay's address. Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? Lindsay's address in front of the version, year of hospital discharge. Uh. <laughs> okay. Ah. <sighs> Who knew Bernard could be nice? Optionally this time, wash your face, then you have to empty the portion and get food, then out of the open. Okay, Cass, take care. Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the okay. request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. February 15, 1958. Dear Mrs. Bay, the, the present letter is to confirm the reception of your transfer requested to room 507. Recruits relate the room in, in question is currently occupied by an excellent state guest. We are therefore unable to grant your request. Thank you for understanding. Please contact us should you have any other requests. Your sincerely, Bernard LeDuc, Hotel Manager. Hope you have this up somewhere. I do not. The storm must be getting worse. I hope Mom's not too bored without her TV shows. Address? Division? Year. Beth was right. Our guest did write down safe competition at the very least reminder for it. I'm hoping that by looking around 505, I might be able to find some clues to de decipher it. Uh... These? Maybe? 
I don't know. What was it that was? Mrs. Address. Okay, all the notes handy. Yeah. Vision. Hmm. Oh, nice. Inspect key. What do we have here? It's mine now. It seems like he went for a burger with two people, though. Do not forget to take your pills. Did you perhaps forget to take your pills, mate? Holy Bible. Revised standard version. That's great. I don't think you should do that. That might be dangerous. And they were roommates. No one at school suspected what took place once their door was locked. One room, two women, and so many secrets. She was alone in, in a town she barely knew, hundreds of miles away from home. She was desperate for comfort and found it in the arms of most unexpected person. What first started as a normal friendship between two women soon blossomed into something much more passionate and disturbing. This is the tale of love and desire like you have never read before. Out of her own experience, the author working under a... Psydon? Psydon? No? Psydon? There is the curtain from one of the gravest threats to modern social morality, the strange love practice trapping unwary girls today, particularly in the, our largest cities. Dun dun dun! Pulp Fiction Novel Novel with two women undressed one. Novel with two undressed women on the cover. Naughty, naughty. Yeah, naughty, naughty. Kills reminder, final cars. Oh. oh, that was the. Let me just put the stuff back to the. My cart. Another day, another dirty dish to pick up. Placed both the cups there for him. You can place the pillow back here. So. Oh, the key is properly to the. Lock it. ninth Infantry Division. 99. Okay, 99, chat, remember, division is 99. Birds of North America, an Encyclopedia 5th edition. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. The division of work on the bird identification, the 5th edition of the of North America, and Encyclopedia includes 10 new species and even more tricks on how to recognize them. Was it 69? No, it was 99. Don't mind me snooping. Uh oh. Paul 42. Is that the. That 
Does that look a little bit like a woman? You spent ten years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses and prescriptions. Was one of the clues for the discharge day? No, Anderson, it's the uniform. Maybe. I, I was more of like looking at the jawline. Morgan Paul V. No, it says sex male. But was the date of discharge one of the. What we needed? 23 08 1957. This dot summary, Paul Morgan McCord, Psychiatric Hospital, Zeros, New York. Patient Morgan Paul, W, sex male, date of birth, 1907, 1924, date, date of admission, 11, 11, 1947. Date of discharge, 23rd, 8th of August, I don't know. 1957, attending physician Edward Harst, Harst, Heast? Yeast MD psychiatry. Discharge diagnosis anxiety neurosis, character disorder, chronic insomnia, short term memory loss. Hospital course patient initially diagnosed for nervous breakdown. Patient displayed erratic behavior and mood swings, occasionally aggressive. Patient non responsive to shock treatment, neither insulin electric. Patient condition improved after new medication. Medication meprobame 400mg daily, venoporbital 50g as may required. Did she? Can I? Date of discharge, 1957. Hmm. 57. Okay, 57. Is there anything else? 57. We have 99 and 57. What's the thing? So infirmary depression was 99 and year of hospital discharge was 57. So 9957. Lindsay's address, we're still missing that. I'm gonna throw away his letter. Where we might get the address. Oh, there's stuff here. Morgan. Is that your real name? Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? I think we just found the <laughs> Lindsay's address. Summer Street. Lindsay's address. Dear Mr. Morgan, you have to stop writing to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between two of you, but please let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. Oh, does he think that we are Lindsay? Lindsay, did something happen between the two of you before she died? This a floor of the Clarington? That's that's my schedule. Just how long have you been watching me? Okay. They were roommates. Something tells me you won't be missing this. Scam! It's not spam, it's scam. <laughs> One man's trash is another maid's trash. Now look at the pin. 
my am I shrimping? I might be shrimping. Frank's beans. I hope you aren't eating those beans. Chat, what was the number? Wait, what about those on the floor? 69. No, it wasn't 69. Means and scam. My favorite. Let's try to save. I'm throwing this away. Oh, crap. Why did you write them down, lady? Okay, so... 34. 34, 99. 34, 99, and 57. 34. Ninety nine. It was fifty seven, wasn't it? What did I say? That's fifty seven. Oh, <gasps> gun. Thank you so much for trying our demo. If you enjoyed, please reach list our game and share your feedback in the DBY de demo channel on our Discord server. Thank you. That's a cliffhanger. That is so mean. I know, right? That is so mean.